Your car guy here. Today we're going to be reviewing and testing the Topton BT300P battery tester. This is a really great little tool from Topton. It comes, as you can see here, with a 2.4 inch LCD screen that is easy to see in any light conditions. So you can see the test results. You'll be able to see what you're doing very easily, whether you're working outside in the sunlight, whether you're working inside a shop, uh, if it's nighttime, whatever that might be. Other cool features, it has reverse polarity protection, meaning if I hook it up backwards, it's not gonna fry the tool and it's not gonna damage the battery. It is also spark proof and it is protected against short circuits. So it's super safe to use, super easy to use. One of the coolest features that it has though is a built-in printer. This will allow you to print your test results and give you your data that you can share, whether you're using it for a customer or just saving that for your own um, use. It's a well-built little tool that's gonna be very usable for you, whether it's a shop or you're just doing it for your own uh, battery testing. Not only does this do battery testing, but it does your cranking test. So it's gonna test your starter and how many volts it's drawing. It'll test your alternator. It'll do a diode ripple test and tell you the condition of your alternator and charging system very easy to use. I'll show you how to do that here in just a little bit. When you receive the tool, it's gonna to come in this handy little bag. Inside the bag, you're gonna have the storage area for the tool, along with two additional rolls of printer paper. So right here, we have our two rolls of printer paper. We have our instructions. The tool fits right down in this pocket here. The clamps or leads for the batteries will fit in that pocket right there. Very convenient, you'll zip it up. It does come preloaded with one roll of printer paper, so you'll have three rolls to work with right off the bat. I've got several batteries we're gonna test. Now note this does work for 12 volt, for 24 volt, for your glass mat batteries, your gel cell batteries, and your standard batteries, your lead acid We're gonna batteries. start out with this Duralast battery that I believe is bad. This is one that I had been using in one of my cars and uh, replaced it after it had given some issues. Wasn't sure if it was a voltage drain at the time or not, or a bad battery. So what we'll do, we're gonna hook up, take our red clamp, and we're gonna put it on the positive cable or positive post. We're gonna put our black clamp on the negative post. We'll see the screen pops up here. All right, so right here we've got main menu and you can see the first thing is a battery test but I can also do a cranking test a charging test review data change my language or get about which should give us software information we'll start with a battery test the enter print button is right here so this is a regular flooded battery but you see I can do an AGM a gel or an EFB so regular flooded We'll hit enter. Now, these are the different standards that can be used for battery testing. We have cold cranking amps, which is what most of the United States is gonna use with the battery ratings. So we'll select that. Now, we can adjust the cranking amps to match what the battery is. So this has 640 cold cranking amps. So I'm gonna use this down arrow and I can just hold it down or I can just click it one at a time to drop five at a time. We'll go to our 640 cold cranking amps for this battery. Now we'll hit enter. Hmm, it says the power is too low and it wants to know whether to continue testing. I'm gonna say yes because I just finished charging this battery, which probably tells me that it's gonna be bad. Uh, it did charge for more than 24 hours, which many manufacturers require. So this says retest after charge. Healthy, it's showing 1%, only 51 cold cranking amps and a charge of only 11.86 volts. The internal resistance, um, I'm gonna say, hey, we definitely have a bad battery. Not holding a charge at all, especially after uh, just charging it, literally pulled it off the charger right before I started this test. So I've definitely got a bad battery here and we can see, hey, 1% on the health there. I'm gonna print. Oh, look at that. 
And the serrations are down here, so if I just pull down, it's gonna tear it off. There I have a printed record of that test. That's, this is really neat, that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and test this uh, power equipment battery. This was for my lawnmower. Gonna do a battery test again. Regular flooded, cold cranking amps. It, see, it saved my setting from last time. This is only a 300 amp battery. So we'll turn it down to 300. Hit enter. And there we have it testing. Huh. All right, so we see healthy battery, 97%. Charges at 40% at 12.24, 296 cranking amps. I've got a good battery here. Now this is a battery that honestly, I was considering getting rid of. So here, this right now has saved me a battery that I can continue to use for my lawnmower. So that is fantastic. Now I wanna check the accuracy of this tool. So what I've got is my digital multimeter out. And it said that this battery was 12.24 volts with the tester. And look. We have 12.2 volts showing. I'd say that we are very accurate. This test showed 11.86 and there we are at 11.8. So great tool, already it saved one battery for me and told me that this one is definitely not worth saving. This tool runs about $85 uh, online. So just for the $85, I've already found that I have one good battery. Now it's about a $50 battery, $50, $60 battery if I'm going to Lowe's or Walmart. I've also been able to test the battery in this Jag and that's about $150 to a $200 battery. So knowing that I've got a good battery there, I've already saved more than enough to pay for this tool. Let's play with it and go do the starting and charging test. Well, I wanna do the uh, cranking test on this tool in order to see how well that works. And something else that I didn't mention earlier, but I really like, I like the insulation on these battery clamps. So as I'm putting these clamps back in on a battery that's in a vehicle, we'll see how close this positive clamp is to this brace. Look at that, that thing is fully wrapped, insulated, nothing exposed that's gonna cause it to short out. So great little feature, nice that they thought of that. So in order to do this, we're just gonna scroll down to the cranking test, hit enter. Now, start the engine. Look at that, normal. So look at that, isn't that fantastic? It has printed me a receipt showing that the cranking voltage was 10.59 volts and it took 3,001 milliseconds in order to crank. Also has the serial number of the tool that we're using for identification in case that ever comes up with a customer. So the crank test. Next, let's play with the charging test. So to get back to the charging test, I'm gonna hit exit over here on the right. That gets me back over to my main screen. Now I'm gonna scroll down to my charging test. Hit enter. It says, please start the engine to continue. All right, with the engine started, We'll hit enter. Doing a ripple test. All right, it says increase speed to 2,500 RPMs and keep it for five seconds and press enter to continue. So increase to 2,500 RPMs. There we see, that is normal. Look at that, our ripples detected. We have our loaded and unloaded voltage. That's fantastic. And again, we can print that. All right, so guys, I'll be honest, I'm really impressed with this Top Don BT300P. Great little tool for the money. It does so much. I mean, we've just tested the alternator. We've tested the starter. If we were concerned about those items, those are very expensive to replace. And for a tool that is very inexpensive, we were able to verify that our alternator's fine, our starter's fine. Of course, we were able to test our battery. The batteries are fine. 
We've been able to test multiple batteries. I found out that I have a couple of good batteries that I really didn't think were good. So that's a, a real bonus with this tool from Top Don. I really like this tool. So big thank you to Top Don for sending me the tool in order to do the review. I really appreciate that. Um, there's one more thing I want to test. It shouldn't cook this tool if we hook it up backwards. So I'm going to intentionally hook this tool up backwards to see what the results are. All right, so this is something you shouldn't normally do. Here I'm taking my negative clamp and I am attaching it to my positive post here on the vehicle. And I'm gonna take my positive clamp and hook it up onto the negative post back here. Well, I don't see any issues. The tool didn't come on, so nothing's there. Let's take it off. Let's put them back where they should be, and let's make sure this tool still works. There we are, hooked up. Look at that, it came right back on, went right back to the battery test. That's fantastic. So this really kind of foolproofs the tool for you. If you make a mistake and hook it up backwards, it's not gonna destroy this tool. That's very cool. Let's say I was getting ready to go on a long trip or something like that with a vehicle and I wanna verify that my battery's in good shape, my alternator's in good shape, my starter's in good shape. I could run these tests. That could save me a breakdown on the road that the tow bill alone would be in the hundreds or maybe even the thousands of dollars depending on how far out you are. But that can give you some peace of mind with a tool that, again, about $85. This is a fantastic tool. I would highly recommend that you put one in your personal toolbox. If you run a shop or a garage or you just work on things for other people, this tool is gonna allow you to give better service to them for relatively little money, quick and easy. It may also help you sell batteries when you find a bad battery or you find a bad starter, you find a bad alternator. That's gonna help your diagnostic process. It's gonna help you make some money to sell those tools if you're running a shop or those parts, I should say, and the service that goes with them. If you're a regular hobbyist or someone that's just taking care of your own vehicles, again, this is gonna save you money by not buying batteries that are unneeded, and it'll probably save you a breakdown on running with a battery that you shouldn't. This is your car guy. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful to you, please subscribe to the channel, like and share the videos, leave a comment. I'm happy to answer whatever I can for you. I'd love to get the interaction.